Laura Latipova from St. Petersburg. The floor is yours. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. It's so nice to see all of you here, and to, uh, I'm very happy to meet with such outstanding experts, although it is online. Nonetheless, I would like to speak about the um, systemic therapy of uh, soft tissue sarcomas. We know that it's a rare disease, but it's widely variable in terms of the histological subtypes, just uh, as Dr. Renata Cavalli told us. And when we choose systemic treatments, we uh, first of all take into account the prognostic factors, the clinical ones, which are the characteristics of the tumor itself, as well as the patient's um, features and pathomorphological. These are the ones that about the uh, specimen. So the systemic therapy is neurodivant adivant and pharmacotreatment of metastasis or metastatic forms. So the main principles of choosing systemic treatment is uh, subdividing it into sensitive and non-sensitive to uh, chemotherapy. Also, the characteristics of patients uh, do matter because the candidates for more aggressive treatment are patients with a symptomatic treatment who require um, uh, rapid onset of treatment uh, or uh, patients with the non-resectable forms. And uh, we, uh, first of all, need to improve the quality of life and improve survival. The hotline is the, ro is the role of multidisciplinary team as the main element of improved efficacy of uh, malignant tumors treatment. When it comes to neoadjuvant uh, therapy, first of all, it is uh, all about the uh, reducing the size of tumor, destroying metastasis, microscopic metastasis, and also, in, uh, and also uh, neoadjuvant treatment is administered to patients with high risk of relapse. There were several studies about uh, wh how to start neoadjuvant. This is standard anthracycline containing regimen, or it should be a regimen on histotype uh, and uh, histotype sensitivity. So it was detected that the standard chemotherapy of uh, phosphamines, they proved to be more effective in patients with a high risk of relapse. Also, there were studies on the on perioperational and neodivent chemotherapy, what is better. According to these uh, studies, for 10 years in a row, we have the following situation. The perioperative chemotherapy does not result in any benefit, and most probably we should uh, restrict only to three cycles of no adjuvant chemotherapy. When it comes to adjuvant chemotherapy, uh, the main target is to improve uh, and to a large time to uh, disease progression and uh, appearance of remote metastasis. Also, it is administered to patients with high risk of malignancy. This is high risk of malignancy, deep invasion, and, uh, and the large bulky tumors. Uh, in 1997, it was detected that, indeed, the adjuvant chemotherapy improves overall survival by 10 percent, so it provides certain benefits in patients with unfavorable risk factors. Also, there were studies like uh, OOTC, which uh, didn't show any significant difference between uh, no adjuvant chemotherapy, but in a um, closer look at this, uh, out, uh, at this study outcomes, patients with more favorable uh, factors which were about, which were, um, they responded to chemotherapy better than those who had lower risk factors. These are red parts of the uh, curves or red curves. And overall and disease-free survival were statistically different in both groups. When it comes to treatment of metastatic forms, uh, the first-line treatment is anthracycline and uh, anthracycline uh, regimens, which could be mono uh, therapy and uh, in combination with other uh, drugs. Uh, for sure, patients in satisfactory conditions, uh, in asymptomatic patients as well as patients over 65, they are candidates for monotherapy of anthracycline uh, treatment. Uh, second line of uh, chemotherapy. Gemcetabin, uh, in combination with doxyrexel uh, and uh, decarbazin, 
can be used. It's targeted treatment. Uh, ribulin, uh, pazabanib, and uh, trivexidin can be used, which are um, included in the guidelines abroad and in Russia. If we speak about more aggressive forms of the soft tissue sarcoma, such as alveolar, uh, light cell, uh, we uh, can use non-targeted uh, therapy like sinutimib and sirolimus as well in um, sarcoma. And uh, just like Roberta Cavalli said, uh, the, uh, these are uh, targets of uh, intercam mutation. Uh, this is lorotractinib and uh, entractinib. There were studies which also included soft tissue sarcomas. First and foremost, and uh, we speak about the, um, we speak about uh, our patients included in RCT. I would like to show you a clinical case of very aggressive epithelioid uh, tumor. This is exactly the situation with uh, um, uh, just uh, uh, deep diagnostics. There was a small malformation in the left forearm. Uh, there was a um, uh, a small section with a flap, and uh, in uh, uh, several months there was a relapse in uh, IC and IHC and histological uh, verification. There was uh, pigmentless um, skin melanoma, and there was nivolumab used uh, one uh, infusion. After that, there was hyper progression with uh, huge growth up to such huge, uh, just bulky. Uh, masses. The patient came over to our center where there was sanitary amputation of the left limb with the excision of uh, uh, just uh, axillary lymph nodes and the uh, IHC showed uh, non-differentiated epithelioid soft tissue sarcoma. There was no repar um, uh, DNA reparation um, proteins. Uh, and also uh, PDL1 expression was not detected. At the same time, patients uh, had a number of metastases in the axillary lymph nodes and in the lungs and multiple metastases in the stump of the uh, upper limb. There was chemotherapy initiated, Dr. Rubicin and phosphamide, uh, six cycles, and uh, the treatment effect was full regress of the axillary lymph nodes, uh, a regress in the lesions of the lungs and also regress in the small micrometastasis in the uh, subcutaneous fat of the stump. At the moment, the patient is uh, followed up for four months. We shall uh, live and see. There are new um, pharmaceuticals which are registered uh, this year for the uh, large cell uh, tumors, um, Also, there were new drugs in the GIST tumors. This is lamotinib and ribotinib, and also in the epithelioid uh, cell sarcoma. Also, there are uh, news uh, that were announced at the ASCO conference. You can see gemcitabine with uh, bazopanib um, compared to the uh, conventional regimen, and it was detected that all the groups responded to treatment, but the liposarcomas in which we did not study panisermib before, it had uh, three times uh, bigger response um, with the improvement of the overall survival. Uh, it was enlarged four times, and disease-free survival almost sixfold. So the prospects of this regimen are huge. When it comes to the PICO, it was Sirolimus that they uh, studied, which also showed uh, big good results with the uh, first year survival of 88% and the uh, form of Paclitaxel with the multi-resistance um, cutaneous and, uh, angiosarcoma also proved uh, to be effective with a median of overall survival of 92% and approximately two years of survival. Combined uh, uh, immune therapy was also studied with rebectogen and uh, also promising results with a six-month uh, survival of 75 percent. 
all these uh, trials are ongoing. Also, there are other trials which are ongoing with the chemotherapy, immune therapy, and soon, I suppose, we shall have a chance to treat our patients and achieve better results if compared to the, previous, uh, to the uh, current ones. Thank you very much.